I'm going to be testing this on a beach tomorrow to see whether it actually does the job. And frankly, it seems like a miracle machine to me, so I'm quite prepared to be slapping my head going, what was I thinking? I just knew this blooming thing wouldn't work. But if it does, it's going to be awesome. We'll see if it works. And if it works, how it works. And if it works, how good it works. And I must say, I'm going to try it out on pretty tricky terrain on a beach, which I reckon for this sort of machine is probably the nightmare scenario. But I'm not going to become an expert on it. I'm going to test this machine as a complete muppet. Because, let's face it, when we get a detector, we're a complete muppet with how it works. And most of us never actually get to anything clever like reprogramming it or doing anything smart. We just use the standard presets. And that's how I'm going to take it. And we'll see. If you can put up with me, it's going to be a great machine. If it falls to bits, well, you're going to see it happen in front of your own eyes. So, we're geared up for treasure hunting war with the Nocta and Venio. And we're going to a beach to test it out. And I've set it all up. And I've got it running indoors. And it didn't say, please upgrade me for the next two hours via the internet. So, it's apparently ready to rock. This is interesting. That's a bit of a pain. The detector itself that's fine so it's going to be interesting to see but as I said earlier as far as I'm concerned this is for finding cords so a little bit of uncomfort a little bit of weight a little bit of only being able to do it for an hour or, or two before you fall over exhausted noisy bugsters that doesn't matter because you're going for a hoard you know roughly where it is and this is the kit to find it now we're going to find out whether a it is the kit to find it by going on a beach and giving it a test run. So come along with me and find out more. Okay, I've used this machine for approximately six seconds and I can tell you I'm already convinced. I put my digger on the ground and I swiped it over with the coil and wow. So there is my digger and I hope you can see that and that's what the screen says. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm totally convinced. Now obviously that's a bit of a snap judgment but I was 95% expecting to have bought a machine that just didn't do what it said it did and now I've just tested it with the digger it's providing exactly the sort of result I would expect from a machine that's going to do what I want it to do so end of review right there well not quite but anyway the setup has been incredibly easy and I would expect it to be really difficult and complicated I mean it looks difficult and complicated doesn't it that's the magic that's the bit that's hard to believe going over that scoop I'm getting this visualization and that's not even the next part which is analyzing things which I haven't got to grip with yet. So you see that, I mean, that's just the magic that I'm paying $10,000 for, that 3D visualization or something. So it's working, it does what it says on the tin. How deep that is, I don't know, but that's the magic and that's what I'm here for and that's what it's given me within a few minutes. Now, the other interesting thing about this is it's very easy to set up. It's very easy to get going and you can see by the clobber I've got around me, it looks like a very complicated way of going about things, but actually they got it so it's quite simple. So that's really rather good. Now, of course, finding a giant scoop on the surface is one thing, but finding something underground is another. And I'm not really expecting to be disappointed there, but let's go and do that. This beach, though, is heavily, heavily metal detected, so I'm not necessarily expecting to find much. But this guy is. You gonna do the digging for me? Thanks very much there. Is there anything down there? I don't think this beach has much on it because it's basically detected by a horde of people from around here. I buried a dime at about seven or eight inches, and this is what I get. So I'm picking it up at that depth. It's quite sensitive to that, and I think this detector has to be moved quite slowly. You can't just flip it around like I would say the Deus, but I don't know whether the Deus would pick a dime up at seven or eight inches in sand, in dry sand on the beach, which is really hard work for any detector, unless it's a specialist device. So that's quite nice, that's quite interesting. So we we'll push it on, but my arms have already fallen off. I suppose I've been trying to do it about an hour and a half now, and my frail body has had enough, but it's doing what it says it should do on the tin. The only question is depth, uh, and that's because as a Muppet, I really don't know how to tune it properly. I've ground balanced it, etc., and done various things, but I'm sure there's all sorts of bells and whistles you can do to get on with different environments and get different depths. With the shortage of 
actual targets to go for it's a bit hard to know really what's going on but so far I'm really excited because I think if this has got the depth which I'm pretty sure it has then this is going to find hordes for me so we're going to do a bit more and if my arm finally falls off this is probably all you're going to get to see so the initial response is this is the real deal it works it's not difficult to use and it finds stuff and it does do the maps like it says it does so that is really really exciting because that's what i paid the 10 grand for and it looks like i got what i paid for can't be bad huh just got to get it over those hordes but we'll see that will be coming up later this beach has been done to death and there's nothing on it at all nothing on it at all and if it wasn't for the fact that i could put my own coins down and test it and i could immediately find my own digger in 3d i would wonder if the detector worked at all but i have detected this beach a few times and it is very very scarce here and you can see youtube videos of people detecting it to death so i put three coins down and it does what it says it detects all three of them and tells you where they are and separates them all out so let's have a look at me doing it in practice rather than just talking about it so they're down here. There's one there, you could probably see it. There's another one there. And there's another one there. And that is what you see on your screen. Three coins. Now you can go in and you can refine. Oh, I found another coin. And you can refine that and it will show you three little dots. So let's do that, shall we? And the way you do it is you go into scan mode and it will then so that is scan mode and when i press ok it will process that and there it is processing it and there it goes three little round objects it says and it's probably telling me how deep it is, but I have no idea where to look for that just yet. Now, you must remember that I have got a manual. I've never used this thing before. And I'm just playing it by ear, pressing buttons and being a Muppet, you know, like you do when you get a new machine. So it is very, very easy to use, or at least very easy to use. It's not a piece of technological magic that you need a PhD for. And it does work, does do what it says on the tin. The only thing I haven't proven yet is just how deep it is. But it's interesting that my digger, who my bearer is carrying, did set it off at about 18 inches to two feet actually probably more like three feet in fact so it will apparently in air at least get objects two to three feet away so that's useful but maybe not so useful if you're lugging your spade around with you but anyway be that as it may the only thing that i haven't tested it out for is depth now i did get a uh, penny at about eight inches which i planted and when you think about a american penny it's a bit of steel and it's a bit of copper so that's pretty impressive in salty sand which is quite mineralized but you would expect that from a detector of any quality <laughs> on a small sample it's delivering the goods so that is very very exciting i'm excited i'm very excited hey we got a signal on the signal free beach yay so here we go first signal it's reading in like I suspect to be a piece of tin or a ring pull, but it's getting it and have a look. So that's what it's saying about it. And it's saying it's 55. And I'm guessing that means it's shallow. I don't know how deep that's going to be. Depth. Depth, I think it's saying it's, I think that's the depth, and it's saying not much depth. So it's there. So my digger, my digging person is going to dig now. Get a big scoop, real big scoop. Yay! The first ring pull, the first find of my $10,000 detector. And it did tell me it's going to be a ring pull, and it did tell me it's going to be shallow. What more can you want? Depth, 3D map, differentiation between targets, and a clear sign you've got a ring pull. The only thing I need it to be is about four pound lighter, but you can't have it all, can you? 
Now there is a fantastic spin-off from this machine, which I don't think is meant to be a fantastic spin-off, but it is for me, because it's telling me how much I'm missing, and it's telling me if I'm going too fast, effectively. In really good territory, that's really good, because it's telling you you're going too fast, and you're missing bits, in fact, missing a lot. So when I'm going normally, this is what this detector is telling me I'm missing, and it's kind of sad. I mean, look at that. And I'm not really swinging it totally wildly, now I'm swinging it really carefully, and in fact this is kind of orientated with like a compass, so I need to get it, oh there we go, oh I'm going back to front now so I need to go around here so I can show you, right I'm going this way. So to get the whole picture I really have to be going gently to not miss anything, and for that matter low and slow, which is the way to get all the good stuff of course. Well, you can see I'm kind of missing stuff already, but I'm going low and slow. But it's telling me whether I'm getting it or not. Now, I would normally go like this. You can see like, I'm not really getting much, am I? Now, probably not going that mad normally, but something like that. This will enable me to cover every square inch when I'm treasure hunting, and that's really valuable. This machine is telling me how I have to swing to get everything. Obviously, in any old site, we don't know where you're going. It's a playoff between how fast you go, because you're prospecting, and how much ground you cover. You don't want to cover all the ground. If it's barren, you want to sample, and you go fast for that. But if you're in a good spot, you want to cover every square millimetre. And this machine will help you do that, and that's a really big win. And that's kind of like, you know, well, maybe not accidental, but it's not <laughs> sold as improve your metal detecting with a 3D visualisation. And for me, that function that will enable me to cover every square millimetre, because I've got lots of reasonably good sites, is a really good bonus, very valuable bonus indeed. That's another fantastic thing about this detector. <laughs> Happy! We're on to actually quite mineralised ground now, which is why I've been avoiding it. So I've got a find, which will probably be because other people's metal detectors don't like this, because it's near a sort of campfire area. Here it is. So it's saying seven centimetres, and it's in highly mineralised ground, and it's saying it's a um, 86, which means highly conductive, so it's probably a bit of aluminum in the minimum. Where was it? Nicely, I can refind it on the screen. So, Mr Digger, could you please extract? So, right in that hole. a little bit of lead there. Yeah, it drops through, right? So this is what it was, a bit of aluminum at four or five inches. Well, at nine centimetres it said, so it must be true. That's what you'd expect when everybody's having a party and burning stuff. Lots of burnt aluminium. Anyway, on we go. Well, it's making the finds. Ring pulls. It does find little objects too. That was about four or five inches, as you'd expect. So nothing spectacular, but it did go crazy when it went over it, which you would expect for something that's got depth. Just recorded it, gave me a big 3D signal for it, gave me a number that said aluminium. We dug it, there it was, aluminium, at about four inches. I'm making my way back now because I'm tired out and this beach doesn't have much on it and I expect to find more aluminium and nothing else, but it's good to use it just to get some experience because when I come back, I'm gonna be on some proper sites and I wanna be in at least basic command of this machine. And that's what a ring pool looks like in really mineralized ground. I don't know if you can see it, but this ground is actually kind of gray from all the burning and from all the charcoal. So this is really difficult ground. So that's quite impressive that is not bothered by it at all. Now I think this is discriminating out foil because I got a foily signal or rather I got a broken signal with a high tone, but it wouldn't behave itself. And then when I dug it up, it was foil. So that makes sense in a way that this might actually be very good at picking out foil and giving you the right signals to show that it's foil. And that would be a boon for me because I dig nothing but foil. So that's interesting, but we'll find out later when we're on some European fields, whether that actually is the case. But here, it just really gave me a signal that if I got that four or five times in a row, I would then start thinking about not digging it because it just had a foily feel to it. So it's good to have a detector that will say to you, no, you don't want to dig that up. That's rubbish, that is. So we shall see, but that's an early indication. That's also another nice thing that this machine possibly does. So 
very, 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 very pleased. Well, this was really a crash test of this detector because I've taken it on a very difficult site. I was expecting it not to do what it said on the tin. I was expecting it to be very hard to use. I was expecting it to be very temperamental. I was expecting it to be heavier, but it's not too heavy. I mean, I've been out there for now two hours and yeah, I've had enough but then I would have that with the CTX 3030. So, it's, you know, that's only just because I'm a feeble old guy. And it found stuff, be it ring pulls and bits of aluminum and aluminum, but it found them and it gave me beautiful 3D pictures and it did the right analysis. And I did testing with real coinage and it did what it said it should do with those as well. And it also does some other things like cover all the ground. And it also really gives me what I think is quite good discrimination. In fact, extremely good discrimination. It's very exciting. The only thing I haven't proven it for is depth. But as it was actually picking up my scoop at two to three foot, I think it's got depth too. Certainly if you're looking for a pot of gold, silver or copper coins, a two foot down, I think it's gonna get them as long as you use the machine right. It's a very simple to use machine in its defaults. It does a pretty good job. Well, it does an extremely good job on its defaults. Switch on, off you go. I'm really wowed by this machine because I can tell you, if I back this to the person that sold it to me and said, oh, I can't get it to work, oh, woe is me, I'm sure I'll get my 10 grand back. Not that I'll do that, but I am not sending this machine back. In fact, you couldn't take it away from me, even if you paid me. I'm really excited to get this on the three hauled fields that I've got access to. And I'm excited to get it on the fields which are just really good fields because I'm scratching the surface of those and I think, with this, I'm gonna be picking up a lot more stuff for several reasons. Reason one, I'm gonna cover all the ground because the detector actually maps what you're going over. It enables you to make sure you've gone over everything. And as I've seen using this machine, I'm missing at least half. It's probably more like 80% by the way that I swing. So on a good field, you do wanna cover everything. Two, it's got really great depth. And three, it's got great discrimination and separation. So it is really a pretty fab machine. Well. It certainly seems to be from my two hour test. I've got a lot to go for with this machine and I can't wait to get on it. Now I thought I should say, I'm not sponsored to make this review. I haven't contacted Nocta, they haven't paid me, they haven't given me a review machine, nothing. I've bought this machine with my own money. This is not a sponsored review. This is the review of somebody that really didn't want to buy it because he thought it's too expensive and wouldn't work, who's got the machine, finally bit the bullet on the basis of having some hauls to go for, and has tried the machine out and found it pretty amazing. That's my review. The Nocta Invenio is pretty amazing.